I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Once again, Jean Chasky, I think the premier financial person, and I know you're for AARP today. How are you? It's nice to talk to you always. Well, I love talking to you, watching you, catching you. If I'm surfing and you're on TV, I stop. Aww. Yeah. Tell, tell my audience, I was talking about you earlier, about the Equifax data breach. People are really stressed. I know, and a lot of people. We know that about half of all Americans had some of their data lifted as part of this breach. We're talking about social security numbers, names, addresses, dates of birth. And what's so scary about this one is that this is the sort of information that can be used to cobble together a profile of a person pretending to be you. And then that person can go out and apply for a job or credit or a mortgage or your tax refund. And identity theft in this form is very, very difficult to shut down. So we need to get ourselves to be more vigilant about precautions on the front end so that hopefully, even if our information is out there, we won't become a victim. Okay, give me some tips, some usable tips that my audience can be writing down, you know, like it's so good. Sure. So look at your credit report. Um, annualcreditreport.com is the website to go to to look at your credit report for free. You're eligible for one free report from each of the bureaus every single year. So I like to go every four months and just rotate them. Make sure you're opening your financial statements, actually reading what's in there to make sure that nobody is using your accounts other than you. You want to have strong passwords. And a strong password these days is is a, a passphrase that is four different words strung together that have nothing to do with each other but that you can remember. You may want to put a credit freeze on your files with each of the three major credit bureaus. You got to do this separately with each bureau. So you've got to go to Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. There's a fourth bureau. It's called Innovus with an I. Some people believe you should do that one as well. Certainly won't hurt to freeze your credit there as well. And, and just so you know and your, your viewers and listeners know, freezing your credit may cost a few dollars. Um, and you may also have to pay a few dollars to lift the credit freeze if you are going out and trying to apply for a loan or a mortgage on your own behalf. Um, and you can sign up for a service like a LifeLock, and I, I've partnered with LifeLock to bring this information out. LifeLock is the kind of service that monitors your credit on the front end. On the back end, if you are a victim, they've got people and services and a guarantee that will help you shut that crime down. Gene, I've got to ask you this question, and mm -hmm. this is one I've been asked over and over for the last few days. Why is the burden of proof always on the pers person who's considered the victim? Oh, boy, isn't it frustrating? I wish I had a good answer for that question for you. Um, that's just the world that we live in today. A lot of people are complaining that it costs anything to freeze your credit. And by the way, I agree with them. But this is the way it is. And I think not taking action of this type is much, much worse. Well, it, you made our day much, much better. Tell me the last thing you want me to know, and then we'll wrap up. If your listeners are looking for more information, they can find it at lifelock.com. Well, Jean Chasky, you are the premier money person of this age, and thank you for gracing the Valder BB Show. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Valder.